So I'm known to have done quite some trolling in my days, but guys, today we're going to be checking out the most ruthless one I've ever seen. So we're going to be checking out this glitch right here by my good friend Fluffy. It is a glitch that is supposed to allow you to permanently trap someone in build boat, whatever you want. All you need to do is press a button. It is literally insane. Now, I don't really know too well how to build this thing. The only thing I know is what Fluffy showed me. The other day, I joined a surf with him and he was like, hey, look at this. I saw it there and I was like... Like, I could build that. <laughs> So uh, today, I'm going to try building this from memory, which is probably a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm going to sit because I need to attach something to my body. I'm going to put that right there. Now, I mean, what is the worst that could happen? You know, maybe the whole thing explodes. Ooh, so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, that would actually be, that would actually be kind of bad. Um, Okay, so I'm going to build like a pole, you know, just like kind of tall. Like how big is this? This is 96 studs tall. All right, so all right, then next up, I'm going to actually show you guys before I continue, I'm actually going to show you guys what this whole trick is based on because honestly what it works on is a really really cool glitch that uh i mean fluffy has shown me before and it's honestly just nuts so the general idea is, is that you place yourself a piston with a uh, portal on top of it and i need to make sure that this is actually off the ground and then that actually pushes into a wheel kind of like so move it a little bit further up now guys the wheel is actually going to be attached to this whole contraption right here so i'm going to loop this back around like like so now if i had another portal right here i'm barely certain if if I did everything according to plan, when I press this button right here, so let's say I unanchor everything here except the wheel, unanchored, if I press that um, uh, piston right there, yeah, the whole thing teleports. That's right. Oh, I did do that right. Oh my God. So yeah, guys, with this trick, you are actually able to move anchored builds because right now this build right here, it's still anchored. It's like this crazy glitch. So this is what allows this all to even be possible. Okay. I had to make sure that that still was the way it worked because I haven't used this glitch in a very long time. All right, let me fly up here and let me have a closer inspection. So the general idea is going to be is that we're going to teleport the, uh, the 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 prison cell to us so we can just put it right in front of us. We can just bang, trap some. That's the general idea. So right here, I'm just going to pretty much place this pole in the shape of an L like this. Um, And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this the same length on both sides. So that way I'm not out of balance. I don't want to be out of balance. That would be bad. And then what I'm going to do right here, guys, is I'm actually going to place this portal right there on the end just like so okay guys what we're gonna have to do next up this is where things are gonna start getting interesting so i'm gonna kind of shortcut this i'm gonna copy this thing over uh but you can obviously just do this by hand <laughs> you know just build the whole thing over again but yeah pretty much we need the whole thing one more time and then what i'm gonna do right here is i'm actually gonna put the portal right on top of the pole right there just like so actually i'm gonna paint one of these red just so it can't actually teleport me because it would be really annoying if it did <laughs> all right actually i'm gonna just do this by hand so yeah we're gonna go right here place the piston then place the portal painted red <laughs> and then all that's left right here is to actually place the wheel now i'm gonna grab the wheel that is like um the back wheel so that way it can't like move around or anything i don't know if you have to i don't think it matters but yeah that's what i'm doing then i'm just placing that right above right there above the actual uh, uh, portal right there perfect all that's left to do is to make sure that all of this stuff is actually connected so we're gonna go in right here and we're gonna just do a little little loop around just like so and i think with that <laughs> I think it's actually done. I think this right here is the general mechanic behind it, which is honestly kind of crazy because that wasn't even too difficult. But obviously, we're not fully done yet because there's a lot more to be done because we still don't have an actual prison cell. But I just want to make sure that I actually built something that isn't complete garbage right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go right there, right there, like everything except the wheel. Bang, unanchor it. It's like all of this stuff. Actually, wait, before I do that, I got to place a cake like there <laughs> and then select all of this and then unanchor it. So yeah, guys. As you can see right now, I can just walk around. I mean, obviously everything is visible, but let me play something real quick. <laughs> if I were to place, I don't know, a button somewhere and I were to just, I don't know, somehow activate it. Oh my God, it worked. Oh my God, it worked. Oh my God. I was like, wait, wait, did I do something wrong? <laughs> Dude, look at that. If I press the button, it will teleport that entire contraption to me. Oh my goodness me. I might have to make this stuff uh, collision off. <laughs> okay, collision off. Okay, that makes this a lot less glitchy. So yeah, guys, in general, I should now be able to put whatever build I want in front of me with the click of a button. Look at that. Click, click. I just put it there. It's crazy. Oh my God. This is very satisfying. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to actually build the prison cell itself. So we're going to have to get to work. So you could do, you know, something pretty basic. You, you know, you could do a little something like just a square box, but that would be boring. You know, we're going to make something very interesting. So in my opinion, the option to just trap someone, that is not enough. We got to be able to do more than that.
that. So we're going to make a couple alterations to Fluffy's original design. We're actually going to shorten this pole, okay? <laughs> and we're actually going to replace a lot of it with pistons. Let's do, let's start off with like five of them, right? Okay, that right there is looking just about right. Now, guys, what we're going to do next up is we're going to build one of those hanging jail cells that you like seeing cartoons. It's going to be hilarious. We're going to be able to trap someone and then just dangle them in the air and just have fun with them. <laughs> all right, guys, all I have to do right now is just move all of this down. All right, guys, so right now I'm almost done with my cartoony uh, prison cell. And what I've actually done is I've added like some invisible walls right here. So, you know, it might look like you can get out, but trust me, there is no getting out. There is invisible wall, invisible walls making sure that no matter what, this person is getting out. <laughs> all right, then time to do the top. So the idea is, is that this is all going to wrap up like kind of like a dome. Uh, have I ever done anything like this? No. Is this going to turn out good? I don't know. <laughs> All right, baby. Now that's what I call a prison cell. That looks really freaking good. It looks like a bird's nest or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really like it. It's going to at some point like pick someone up, drag him into the air. It's going to be amazing. Oh, and that is fully freaking done, baby. All right. We officially have it in place. Okay. Make sure that nothing is touching and nothing is touching. And this is most definitely a prison cell because I can't get inside of it. And I made very sure that this is an enclosed box. <laughs> And that right there is gonna freaking do perfect. All right, I guess all we have left to do is to actually properly set this entire thing up. <laughs> now, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this right here because I don't think this is too long. That is 30 blocks right there. Or sorry, 30 studs right there. So yeah, the portal can be quite a bit closer. Let's make it 35. Yeah, the portal is gonna move a little bit. And then most importantly, we're gonna have to set up some key binds. So to actually teleport the prison cell itself, we're gonna have to get ourselves a button. So I think that's going to be this one right here. I'm facing the wrong way, of course. <laughs> Again. There you go. And then next up, we're going to have to get ourselves a lever like that, which is going to actually just pretty much only do the actual pistons. So yeah, guys, before you do any kind of wiring ever, first make sure to actually like disconnect all the wires. It makes it a lot easier. So this lever right here is pretty much going to contract all of these pistons. Let's connect all those together. Bang, just like that. That button right there is only going to move that piston up right right there and it's only gonna move it up a little bit so i'm gonna actually set the piston speed to 10 and it only needs to move like let's say a maximum of three so yeah that should be perfect and on that note we should be done so let's freaking test it out baby all right i can walk around just fine that right there is looking just fine as well oh wait no it isn't <laughs> The actual cage fell down. Oops. <laughs> All right, select everything except the wheel right there and unanchor one more time. Now let's actually properly try this out. We're gonna trap someone right in front of us. Press the button, bang. As you can see, that puts the prison cell right in front of me. Now let's say we wanna pull them up. <laughs> We can just pull them up into the air like a little chicken. <laughs> oh, I feel so evil. Oh my God, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna properly finish this all off. You know, making all the little things invisible that need to be invisible. And we're gonna mess with some people. <laughs> all right, loaded it in. Oh my God, I think I have the perfect people to troll. <laughs> All right, guys, we're ready to get her done. <laughs> oh, wow. I wonder what they're building over here. <laughs> oh, my God. He's making a face. Who is this? Uh oh, uh oh, he just teleported the prison cell. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> he found the button. <laughs> Now, before they can do anything, I'm actually going to go bop, trap his friend. A little bit more forward. Trap his friend like that. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> now, flick the lever. It didn't pick him up. It didn't pick him up. Okay, we'll just leave it down. We'll just leave it down. Hello, my friend. You have been prisoned. <laughs> you have been prisoned. <laughs> oh, my God, Jesse. I'm a huge fan. Double a Jill noob. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like, bro, I don't care, man. I'll keep building. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, you don't like it? Well, how about you try some uh that? Oh my god, okay. I barely made it. I barely missed. I bar Wait, it just insta-killed me? What? Oh my goodness me. Dude, I can't believe how well this actually works. <laughs> Loser. Okay, I got everything set up one more time. This time around, we're gonna make sure to get them both. We gotta both put them both in prison. Oh. Oh no, they oh, wait. I think I could still get them. I think I can still get them. If I manage to get them, oh my god, they're gonna lose it. <laughs> they're gonna be so so mad. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Bang. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I got him out. No. Wait, I messed something up with the button. It's continuing to teleport. No. 
Wait, I got him. Wait, he just... Oh, wait, he can't interact with my blocks anymore, dude. We actually had him. Dude, it's actually so cool that I can, like, pick people up and stuff. Like, that is kind of nuts. Well, little does this guy know what's about to get him. <laughs> All right, so actually, something that is quite nice about this uh, glitch is that even if someone tries to, like, mess about and I don't know, and bop. <laughs> got him. Okay, now we're going to slowly pull him up. <laughs> Yes! Would you look at that, man? My man just got trapped! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, he's really stuck in there. Dude, I can't believe how well that worked, man. Oh my god. Well, guys, if you want to know how to, like, properly build this glitch, uh, make sure to check out Fluffy's video down below. He actually goes into a lot of detail and a lot of really cool things you can do with the glitch, uh, which I kind of didn't do really. But yeah, with that, I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone, and bye-bye.